What is slow scan television, or SSTV for short? SSTV is a picture transmission method used to transmit imagery via radio signal. Unlike analog television broadcasts, which use at least 6 megahertz of bandwidth, SSTV takes up to 3 kilohertz of bandwidth. That's a lot slower, which is why when we're using SSTV, you can only send about one image a minute. 1 FPM. But it's fine because the human eye can't even see Why use SSTV? Because it's cool. SSTV is used by both pirate operators and amateur radio operators alike. It's also used by people that make those surrealistic, biblically prophetic, advanced reality games online. Dang 15 year old goth kids and their amateur custom HTML web mysteries with, with embedded imager links. Uh, anyway. It was also used to receive images from outer space. I'll tell you the real reason you want to use SSTV. Think about all the obscure meme potentiality. Want to send your friend a truly ascended post? This is how. In the first part, we're going to be making a signal. And in the second, we're going to be decoding one. You're going to need these two tools. Links in the description. Let's get it. Hey, did you guys like that intro I just edited? Alright, anyway. First things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the SSTV tools, which includes the SSTV signal generator and the MM SSTV uh, decoder. So these are both free to use softwares and they're free to download. The links are in the description. Now for this particular software, which is the signal generator, you navigate to their downloads page and you have to scroll all the way down until you hit SSTV tools. Then you can click that and download it. It will download a zip file, which you can then extract and then run the setup. Hopefully you guys know how to install an application onto your computer. All right, so first off, we're gonna be generating an image signal. Let's get right into it. First things first, open the recently installed SSTV signal generator. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get an image. You can use any image, any image you want. But for this example, we're going to be going on Google Images and using this image of Barry B. Benson from the B movie. I think we're going to take uh, one of these right now and see how it comes out, all right? So we'll, we'll grab this one right here, all right? And then we're gonna save that image onto our computer. Once it's all saved up, you're gonna wanna resize the image. It's a good habit to get into resizing these images, and I think this software sort of requires it. So we're gonna open up Microsoft Paint because it's a very easy and accessible image resizing software that we can use. Navigate to your recently downloaded image, and you're gonna wanna roughly crop it by clicking the select tool and uh, cropping it out, these white squares here or whatever. Once you kind of get this rough squarish crop, you click resize, pixels, and then uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now you're gonna wanna put in 320 by 256. Please just let me know if I'm going too fast for you. Now this image is a bit distorted, but uh, you guys will get the idea anyway. Go to file, save as, and then save it as a BMP picture. We're gonna call it uh, Barry. Now that we've got our image, we're going to navigate to the SSTV tools, and we're gonna click this little open file directory here, and then we're gonna be clicking Barry. Once we click Barry, we can choose our output WAV file. Now I'm gonna set this to the same folder as the image. This is where the audio signal file will be exporting to. Now I'm gonna call this one Barry. Once I click Generate, Barry appears. Now if I listen to that, oh yeah, sounds nice, okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up MMSSTV. Now we're on part two of the tutorial, guys, all right? So as we can see, we've got this set on auto mode, and if we go under options and sound card input, we can see that the microphone is set to my microphone that I currently have. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna play the sound and it's going to automatically be, t be detected within MMS's TV.
And there we go. Now that we have our image, we can go under history. And then we can right click it and we can save the image by clicking save to file. And there we go. Now the way I processed that image was I literally took off my headphones and held them up to my microphone. It was able to pick up the audio and the automatic RX mode was able to identify that it was a Scotty 2 signal. If you set it to any of the other signals, chances are it is going to be able to automatically detect it. Although, in some cases, you need to manually set it to Scotty 2 or Scotty 1, AVT, Robot, whatever it is that you're decoding. Sometimes you will have to manually set it up and sync it up like that. Anyway, I hope this, t this tutorial uh, served useful in terms of just getting started with SSTV. Again, there's a lot more I could be covering here, but this is just the sheer basics to get started. Anyway, though, this was episode four in material deconstruction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to continue to enjoy my videos. Thanks.